babysitting day. You want to go see Tara and your other friends? Can you hold my hand? Okay, let's go. Oh, my sweet little girl. I love this so much. Oh, I love it. <laughs> your fluffy head and all. Oh, you she let go of my hand and then she reached back to grab my hand. Oh. Okay, I got to help you down the stairs. Happy day, friends. Today is Jess's 14-week appointment. Uh, she is just in the back right now going to the restroom in the cup for some tests. I don't even know what tests are doing. But we are so excited because today we could find out the sex of our baby. I don't know what to do. We're kind of contemplating having him write it down if he's confident. We don't know. Last time we did this, we got burned. And it was a huge emotional roller coaster for Jess, so I don't know. If that's something we want to do this time around, I really want to go get the blood test done. Either way, we're super eager, super happy to be here. It's getting to be that really exciting time where things start to become super real. And I just love it. How'd it go? Pete didn't do a cup just fine. <laughs> I did good. I'm hydrated enough, I think. I mean, I could use a little more water, but... No messes? Good. No messes? No, I'm doing good. Okay. Solid work, team. <laughs> so today, we'll not only schedule my next appointment, but I think we'll also get to schedule the anatomy scan. Oh, Yeah, so which is going to be right around Christmas time, so we'll see if it's before or after. <gasps> I hope we get that same girl that, that did, did last time. That did last yeah, time. She, she was, was really fantastic. cool. She was fun and really nice. Just... She was fantastic and also last time she said I can tell your baby's cute you have a cute baby and then she, and then she followed up saying and we're like oh we're like oh you just say that to everyone she's like oh I don't have to say that to everyone so if we get her again and she doesn't say something oh no we'll know <laughs> Do you remember seeing those pictures on our scan like oh, how yeah. developed yeah. Micah was It was wild and I just can't believe that we're almost at that point already like baby is already getting so close to that. Yeah. Like all the features and everything. It's crazy. It wow. is. One month. I'm still, I feel like I'm just wandering about right now. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel too. You legit have a belly. Let's see that bad boy. Are you inferring that it's a boy? Oh my gosh. Here's if I relax. Holy cow, girl. Here's if I squeeze it. You are going to be all belly in 40 weeks. Probably, that's how I was last time for the most oh part. Gosh. Is it still possible there's two in there? I mean, only if they were hiding really well. I don't, I I would be gosh. so shocked with, with the. Uh, you are, you have a belly, girl. Yeah. And I'm not, and I'm not saying that yeah, to be thanks, rude. Yeah, babe. I'm thanks. not saying that to be rude. I love her belly, but you are gonna be a ball. <laughs> that was last time too, don't you remember? Well, you're gonna be even more I remember, so this time around. Why? Why do you think I'm gonna be more so? Like your belly is way bigger than last year. Baby is almost the size of a peach. A peach? Yeah, three and a half inches long. I hate that. It's tall, people. I will not back <laughs> down. I hate that. Long just sounds so weird to me. Do the math to figure that out. <laughs> the coolest part ever. You get to see baby. 20 plus. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. <gasps> oh, and a nice big yawn. Oh my word. Definitely a lot squirmier than Micah ever was. Aww. Hello, babe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is wild. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. That's rad. Life. Beautiful life. If you know what it is, don't tell us. <laughs> Any ideas though? I'm looking, but I'm not seeing. 
Can't Let's see. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> All righty. That is incredible. Need that picture. That you need so that cool. picture. Yeah, we do. Wow. Lots to be thankful for. So much. That is so cool. They were wiggling a lot. Yeah. My colleague never wiggled for us. So for sure, there's no two babies in there. I just want to make sure. It's my belly. It's bigger than it should be. Yeah, it's not very likely now. <laughs> it's hard to hide if you're that big. Yeah, I think we would have found it by now. Look at the baby. That is like about real size. Yeah. Like 3.2 inches. Hand, that is about real size of the baby. They were wiggling around so much. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That like, okay, so the doctor couldn't see the gender. Um, it's either too early or you just can get a good look, but Micah never moved like that. I'm just gonna say that. She never moved around like that. We might have caught the baby in just an uncomfortable yawning position. Though. But but these past two times the baby was wiggling around. Yeah. Micah, like we were lucky if she moved her leg. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if that has anything to say. This one's gonna be a lot more like you. I like this more like me, but. Okay, I feel um, like I'm a pretty chill person. I was pretty chill. I wanna say I was really rambunctious, probably up until I was about 10, and then I started calming down. Calm down huh? yeah. It's your soccer ball, let's go kick it. Let's go kick it outside. Good job. Okay, ready? Come on, girls, let's go. Let's go outside. All my girls, get your soccer ball. You gotta go get your soccer ball. You're doing great. <laughs> Come on out. Let's kick it around. Let's play soccer. Do you remember how to crawl now? <laughs> she does a little crawl out the stairs. It's so cute. It has been so nice still having a little bit of warm weather to enjoy on our deck. Um, even though it's not like finished or anything, we can still be out here and run around. We are gonna get part of it covered uh, later this week. So I'm excited about that and then we'll move the table back under, underneath it. And, uh, and I'm excited to just start piecing it together. Piecing it together out here, get a little lounge area. And I know we've talked about it before, but I just love to brainstorm and talk about it. It's just fun for me. Can you pick up the leaves? Oh, good job, where's another one? There it is. Ooh. Ooh, sorry if I made you yawn, <laughs> but I've been, I don't know what it is. I've been having headaches here and there. I was actually looking up gender prediction tests. We're gonna be doing that video really soon. And one of them that I saw was headaches. And if you have headaches, it's supposed to mean you're having a boy. Um, I did not have any headaches that I remember during Micah's pregnancy or my pregnancy with Micah and I also rarely 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 get headaches so it is different for me so I don't know maybe it's saying something we'll just oh, have to see are you sharing your leaves with dad yeah, I'll trade you this one for those two in your other hand you're learning about trading Cons this is this a good deal oh she's breaking it <laughs> now I don't Here, want you can it. have that little pea <laughs> thank you you guys I have the best husband in the world do you know why I made you a beautiful daughter? Um, I mean, I took part in that too, but you were great. <laughs> He's not feeling the best, but he has still agreed to hang these shelves for me. Um, probably partially because our house has been kind of a mess ever since I took down the old stuff and he wants his house back. So I think I finally decided on these type. They've got like a little ledge. They're just little ledge shelves. I was very against them at first simply because I wanted to be able to decorate with them more and that just leaves a little space, but I like the way they look the best and they're the thinnest. I think it's just the best option. I can always take them down if I decide to in the future. It's not like it's a totally permanent thing. <sighs> That's what I'm telling myself anyways. <laughs> crabby, crabby, crab claws. You guys look what she's doing. I don't know if it's because like she sees me pulling this out of the oven. I just make <laughs> some meatloaf. So look, she like grabs her thing with the mitts and carries it around. And when she drops it, she spills her cake all over. Oh, oh no! no. She spills her cake all over. Actually, it all stayed in the pan. 
Good job. Ooh, tough days. I think days you're getting work. a little tired from all that baking, nice. all that cooking. I have done so much today. I probably have overworked myself, to be honest, but oh, I'm happy yeah. I got a lot of work done. Oh. And look. Oh. Oh. Here. What do you need? Put it on. Okay, oh. get the other one first. What? And guys, look, Jess's wall actually yeah. has. It has shelves. Shelves. It's got shelves on it. Can't decide yet if I'm still gonna paint or not. I'm still leaning towards kind of yes. But at least I'll be able to put decorations on it now. And now that means we can decorate for Christmas. Yes, please. I wanted to show you guys, we got a couple packages from our viewers. Um, Emma sent us this book. This Beatrice. is for Micah, Beatrice, and the Sunflower Gift. One of her high school friends actually wrote this, so I think that's pretty cool. That's rad. And Lauren Price sent us this. Um, we got a little play purse for Micah. It's so cute. I was actually looking at this for her Christmas gift, so one of those things we have to buy. Yes. So that's great. I'll link this down below. Um, it's like a teaching smart for, you know, like all those teaching toys. Oh my gosh, can we didn't wrap forget it the and can we wrap it and put it underneath the Christmas tree? No, that's cheating. No, that's we'll say it's from her. She just credit. don't get it till then. Oh, I mean, that's an option. She also sent these sticks for the doggies and some uh, muslin birth cloths for the new baby. So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate that. And a little while ago, I don't remember if we showed it on the vlog or not, but Lisa sent us um, a birthday gift for Micah. Sweet little card, and she also sent a stuffed animal. And maybe I've shown you guys, she has that like toucan singing piano toy that Micah really loves. We took that with us on our trip. So she sent those, so thank you, Lisa. She is not feeling good and she wants everything. And she thinks that please means that she's gonna get a banana whenever uh, she It wants. means, yeah, she thinks it means <laughs> I'm just gonna get it when I ask for and, it. And when I say please, that's like when she was rubbing her tummy. This is actually please, but she, she's really close. <laughs> but yeah. it does not mean you get whatever you want. Yeah, although we do want to give her whatever she wants. I know, it's hard to say Gosh, no, especially when she says she's please. She's so cute doing it too. But we oh. are gonna sign out, guys. I'm not yeah. feeling good, Mike is not feeling good. We need to relax and just just made delicious I just made meatloaf. some meatloaf, so it took a lot longer than I expected, but we are gonna finally eat that and uh, just enjoy the night together and try to rest up like Austin said. Real quick, if you guys review or watch or whatever, go back and watch or just watch it once, whatever. Um, if you look at the ultrasound footage, I looked over it again and I mean, I don't really know the difference between the genders and what it looks like. But I feel like there's a pretty good shot of it at one point. Um, so if you have your guesses, put them down below before we do all the gender stuff on our channel. Like I said, we're gonna do the wives, old wives' tales coming up soon, and we scheduled our anatomy scan um, for a month from now. So all of it's gonna come sooner than that. Um, some of you might be able to tell. I don't know. Um, I can't, but you might be able to. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.